Hi guys, my name is Nick and uh, today I will be telling you about this uh, piece of equipment here next to me which is a CNC machine, a little one and it's called the Shape Oko First off, I need to tell you that uh, this is uh, the first time that I'm doing this kind of movie Normally I cut and paste pieces of movie and then uh, put some uh, dance music on it but this is the first time that I will be actually talking to you guys so uh, please bear with me if you can't understand me because English is not my native tongue so what is a Shapeoko and what is a CNC? Well, a CNC stands for a Computer Numerated Control, which is just a fancy word uh, saying that this machine is controlled by a PC. So this machine basically has three axes, uh, forward, backward, left, right, and up and down. And basically what you can do with it is, in my case I have attached a pen, so I can draw on a piece of paper, which is kind of boring, but the next step is attaching a Dremel tool or any other kind of uh, drill and then when you uh, put a, a piece of wood underneath it you can draw something up on your PC and this machine will uh, make it out of wood. The difference between a 3D printer and uh, a CNC like this is that a 3D printer works by adding material, uh, plastic, ABS, uh, PLA, while this machine works by removing material. Now in my case it's only a pen, but normally when you have a Dremel tool like that it, it creates a part by uh, removing the wood around your part. The Shapeoko is a kind of CNC created by a guy named Edward Meet Edward and it was first sold on the Inventables website. You can buy the Shapeoko in several kits. You have the purely mechanical kit, then you have the full kit and the premium kit. I bought the uh, mechanical kit, which includes the al aluminum extrusions, uh, all the metal parts that you see here, this front plate, back plate, uh, these things, all the wheels, the timing belts, everything's included except uh, the motors, the wires obviously, and then the controller. So when you buy the full kit, all the electronics, so, so the motors, the, the controllers, uh, are included. So like I said, uh, the CNC is actually designed to uh, carry uh, a Dremel-like tool with which you can uh, mill objects out of wood or uh, aluminum or plastic. But today, as, as it is only the first week that this thing is working, I'm just gonna uh, attach my, uh, my, uh, my pen and draw something on a piece of paper. Which is kind of boring, I know, but it uh, shows the the uh, rudimental steps that are involved with creating parts. So first you need to create uh, your part. Because I'm using a pen, uh, this is simply uh, a bit of text that I uh, created in Kanban. Uh, Kanban is a program that uh, has some basic CAD functionality, but you can of course use uh, bigger packages like AutoCAD uh, or uh, Variants. Uh, but in th this case I just made it in Kanban. And Kanban then exports this uh, to G-code. So after you've created uh, G-code, you need to send it to your CNC. I'm using a software called G-code Sender, but you can uh, always use more advanced tools like uh, Mac3. G-code Sender sends the code to uh, this control board I created. Basically my computer is attached to an Arduino, which is underneath here, through USB. It's just a USB cable. The Arduino reads the G-code and then uses the uh, gerbil shield to control the motor. So let's see what we have here. So this is the power supply which gives uh, power to the, the motors 24 volts. This is the gerbil shield which actually uh, controls the stepper motors through these cables and then we have uh, a big red emergency button which says stop in case of emergency. So let's start drawing. I've put the machine where I wanted to start with the pen on the paper and uh, okay so let's open up the g-code and hit print this g-code file and print the pen is just loosely in there so if it doesn't start drawing I'll have to press it a little more, but as far as I can see, it draws just fine.
that's the first W. Lots of blinky lets. So unfortunately both of my camera batteries died during the making of this movie, so I couldn't film the whole uh, making of the of the drawing. But uh, here are some pictures of the finished product. So, here you have it. My first self-created drawing with the shape of Stay tuned, because hopefully next time I will be milling woods. <laughs>